Of course, we Democrats believe we need to do much more. The bipartisan infrastructure bill is a very significant bill, but our country has other very significant, very important challenges. Working families need help. Small businesses need a leg up. Climate change threatens the future of our planet. Our tax code needs to be straightened out. Other parts of our infrastructure not addressed in this bipartisan bill still need focus, attention, and help. So to my colleagues who are concerned that this does not do enough on climate, for families, and making corporations and the rich pay their fair share, we are moving on to a second track which will make generational transformation in these areas. Once this bill is complete, the Senate will immediately turn to the second track in our two-track strategy, passing a budget resolution that will unlock historic investments in American jobs, American families, and the fight against climate change. The two-track strategy is proceeding full steam ahead. At its core, the Democratic budget, both parts, is about restoring the middle class in the 21st century and giving more Americans the opportunity to get there. Too many in the middle class are worried about their futures. The sunny American optimism has turned into a sourness, an anger, a divisiveness in the land. Bold, transformative action on both traditional infrastructure and on helping families, middle class families cope, and on climate, will restore that bright, sunny optimism that has been part of this American psyche for centuries. At its core, what we want to do is this. We want to, thank you, Mr. Chairman. At the core, what we want to do is this. We want to cut taxes for American families. We want to create millions of jobs while tackling the climate crisis. And we want to pay for it by making corporations and the wealthy finally pay their fair share. After we pass the bipartisan infrastructure bill this morning, senators should expect to vote to proceed to the budget resolution. And we will begin the process for debating amendments shortly thereafter. Democrats are prepared to move quickly and decisively through the amendment process so we can finish what we set out to do before the end of the work period. The longer it takes to finish, the longer the Senate will be in session. At the start of July, I set two ambitious goals for this chamber before our August recess. One was to pass a bipartisan infrastructure bill to boost our economy, something the Senate has not achieved in many years. And this is a strong and bold accomplishment. The second was to pass a budget resolution with the kinds of transformative changes I've mentioned. Pundits called it wishful thinking in a chamber known for unhurried deliberation. Well, we are moments away from achieving the first goal, and I'm confident that very soon the Senate will take the first major step towards achieving our second goal. The Senate is on track to finish both tracks and deliver an outstanding result for the American people.